I'm already into my sixth day of riding and I came to a little place uh, just north of Toba where I spent the night in a really nice Jokan. Um, this is one of those special places, I think there's multiple in Japan, um, where there's like a rock formation in the sea that looks like an old couple and uh, accordingly this is also called Meoto Iwa which basically means I don't know husband and wife rock or uh, couple rock um, and uh, obviously since this is not just a nice image but in the ancient times people actually put some some thought into stuff and had some some faithful meaning behind it um, it does represent uh, the husband and wife and also is to symbolize like a good marriage and uh, Good, good relationship and there's a, a sacred Shinto, Shinto place now um, and accordingly they also built a shrine right next to it which is the Futami Okitama Jinja um, where you can also pray for like good relationships uh, the good faith in a marriage uh, not good faith the good uh, success of a marriage and so on so it's, it's kind of a nice place it's still early-ish in the morning and yet it's already overrun by loads of Chinese tourist buses which really takes the serenity and the, I don't know, all the spirit of this place. Uh, it, it completely eradicates it because it's just uh, people screaming and shouting and taking pictures and just being generally annoying. So that's, that's a shame. Um, but yeah, I still try to make the most of it, get my relaxation and uh, try to enjoy the place nevertheless. It's a very, very cool place and it's a great day.
seven in Matsusaka in the evening and as you can see I'm or maybe you can't really see I'm walking through some shady uh, back alleys of Matsusaka um, to find myself a treat because after splurging on eel on unagi last night in Toba I decided to treat myself again tonight and um, maybe the name Matsusaka rings a bell with a few of you um, this is one of the three famous locations for Wagyu, or Japanese beef. So there's Kobe, there's Matsusaka, and there's a third one, which of course I can't remember right now. Um, so those are the like famous Wagyu beef um, brands or, or places where they're coming from. And obviously, since I'm in Matsusaka now, and uh, yeah, I just treat myself. And I got a recommendation for a restaurant from some locals. So obviously it's the best idea to follow what the locals do or follow their advice. So I'm not trying to find this place. And uh, then I'm going to spend some money on some beef. And I will enjoy it. Okay, so I already love this place. So the first thing they brought me was this grill. Also, the smell is amazing, as you can imagine. Got my own little booth. And, um, okay, so obviously the service is a bit uh, confused with me, but anyways. So, um, yeah, so that's nice. Uh, so, this is the menu. And uh, it has, well, some drinks, obviously. But it has all kinds of different beef cuts and even for the Akiniku. So uh, I'm gonna go through all of them. But uh, there's a lot. 
Um, they also have the special ones for the Matsusaka beef, Matsusaka gyu. As you can see from the prices, these are a bit more expensive than the regular ones. Um, but I actually went for one of their set meals, which has um, different cuts of beef, the Matsusaka beef, obviously. I went for the regular one. They also do have a Josefo, which is like a, like an upper level, but that seems a bit excessive, honestly, and it's just, well, actually it's the same amount of meat, but yeah, just, I mean, that, that's not something you probably eat just on your own. I could also have gone for the nice soul center, which is like uh, <laughs> uh, intestines, but since I hate intestines, uh, no thanks. Uh, so they do have all kinds of stuff. They also have family sets, and they have course meals, which include also stuff other than meat, but honestly, I came here for the meat, so uh, for the beef. So that's what I'm going for, and obviously, what also already arrived in the meantime is my beer, which brings me back to the old problem. So where, where exactly in those places do you put your beer? Because if you put it too close to the to the grill, it gets warm, and that's not what you want, right? So, anyways, goodbye. That was quick. I just finished my last video and took one or two sips from my beer, and my beef has already arrived. So that's the way I like it. Awesome. That's the life. You can see that it's dark around me again. So that means the meat fest is over. But oh my, that was so good. It's, it's almost ridiculously good. Um, it's kind of, kind of a shame that I'm so tired because I probably couldn't really, um, I don't know, enjoy it as much as I could if I were completely like fully fit and not as sleepy as I am right now but wow this was this was so good um, I could live off just that for the rest of my life if, if that should be necessary by any means no problem at all that was so incredibly good